All right, so Bernard today is going to be talking about in his sermon about Matthew 20. And one of the key ideas that he's going to touch on is grace. Do you know any graces? Yeah, you might know a girl called Grace. Or maybe before lunch or dinner, maybe you say grace in your family. Do you say grace? Hmm. Well, they're not the graces that we're talking about. Not today. So you can remember those, but they're not quite what we're going to touch on. Grace is important. And we aren't talking about girls' names or saying thank you, as Jess just said. But there was a man who once owned a vineyard. Do you know what a vineyard is? It's a place where you grow grapes and make wine. Or grape juice. Or grape juice. (laughs) Now, he hired some workers, and some of them he hired early in the morning, and some of them, and he kept hiring them throughout the day, and some he hired late in the afternoon. Maybe in the, like, the last hour of daylight, not much light left. Yeah. And then he paid the workers. But you know, he started with the last, the ones that had been hired last, late. It's a bit funny, isn't it? To pay them first. Do you, who do you think might deserve to be paid more? The people who started the beginning of the day or the people that started late in the day and only worked a little bit? Beginning. That's mm. what you'd think, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah well, I, 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 I thought that. But do you know what? He paid them all the same. They all got the same. So possibly $100. I'm just guessing here. They were paid fairly, the people that worked all day, but then the people that were paid a little bit were still paid the same amount. He showed grace. Where's my grace gone? Undeserved favour. It's a bit like God. Well, it's not a bit like God. It's a lot like God. (laughs) Grace can't be earned. It doesn't matter how hard we work or how we have followed Jesus, how how good we think we are. We're all sinners. And God gave us grace through Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. And he freely saved us from our sins. We didn't deserve that. And God is always gracious. He is generous and he is powerful and he's in charge. So that's a good example of what grace really looks like, not just a girl's name and grace before dinner. All right, we're going to pray today and you're going to pray with me. So I might say the sentence in the prayer and then you're going to say it after me. So let's close our eyes and listen. Let's pray. Um, Dear Father God. Dear Father God. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for sending Jesus for our sins. Thank you for sending Jesus for our sins. Thank you for being generous, powerful, and gracious. Thank you for being generous, powerful, and gracious. Please help us to read your Bible. Please help us to read your Bible. And learn more about your grace. Amen. Learn more about your grace. Amen. Amen.